Uh, Bob Barr, picked to be the Libertarian Party candidate. There's only one problem with that. He's not a fucking Libertarian. You know, I'm nothing against him, but Libertarians, could you do something, something? Find, find a Libertarian somewhere, for Christ's sake? Jeez. It's just a sad state of affairs, what the country's coming to. Uh, Texas Appeals Court rules that the Texas uh, Child Protective Services did not have any right to take children from the LDS sect down there in Texas, uh, citing a lack of evidence of any uh, abuse or um, neglect on the part of uh, the parents and families. Uh, this is just indicative of the same sort of thing that is happening in every state in this country. Uh, Child and Protective Services uh, routinely overstep their bounds and uh, insinuate themselves between families, uh, break up perfectly good families, subject children to uh, abuse and worse uh, when taking them away from so-called abusive families. Not saying that there aren't abusive families and not saying that the Child and Protective Services is not a needed and necessary function, but considering how they have all gone maverick and rogue everywhere around the country, they need to be reformed from the bottom up completely. And they need to be regulated stringently because we're talking about children. Doesn't anybody in these organizations realize how fucking traumatic it is to take a child away from their parents? You better goddamn know what you're doing. Okay, yes, you might take a kid away for one day. If, if someone calls and says, you know, they hear screaming from the house or the, the kid shows evidence of abuse, whatever, until you get things sorted out. And if it turns out that the parent is guilty of that, then you keep them apart. But in the meantime, you shouldn't be in the business of trying to destroy families, which is what these Child and Protective Services around the country are doing. And I think it's fucking wrong. Something needs to be done about it. They need to be reined in, and they need to be reformed from the bottom up. There have been some fuel protests uh, in, in the UK against uh, diesel prices. I've heard some uh, talk about the, you know, a few protests here in the United States. Um, you know, fuel just keeps going up, the cost of gas and diesel just uh, keeps climbing. You know, we might go up 10 cents in one day, which is just ridiculous. But I did find a, 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 um, an obscure economic term which does describe the continued rise of fuel prices. And, um, um, let's see if I can remember what it is. Uh, fucking corporate greed. Yeah, that's it. That, that's the one I was thinking of, yeah. Yeah, it's nothing but fucking corporate greed. There is no increase in demand, there is no shortening of supply, and yet the price continues to climb. Doesn't make any sense to me. But hey, maybe I'm fucking stupid. Um, and, speaking of the Pentagon, can't account for $15 billion in Iraqi spending. Well, well, well. I like to tell people that I can't account for shit the end of the year when I got to pay my taxes, I'd like to say, I don't know how much I made. I didn't really keep track. You know, I could have made uh, $15 billion, you know. Well, of course, the Pentagon can take $15 billion and shovel it into a fucking furnace. They don't have to explain anything. But you know what? I think I know where that money went. Homegrown prop propaganda. Yes. Yes, putting all those ex-military into the mainstream media to convince us all that Iraq is going great. Yeah, that's probably where that $15 billion went, and even if it didn't, maybe even if it went to pay off some fucking drug warlord over there, um, it doesn't matter. They're not going to have to account for it or anything. Wink, wink, just, yeah, no, we'll shove it under the rug and everything will be fine. Maxine Waters uh, calling for the nationalization of the oil industry in this country, and while in a perfect world I would think that would be a wonderful thing, I can't support it with this administration or any administration that's going to follow this one, simply because the government is no longer by, of, and for the people, it is by, of, and for the corporations. Uh, you would think that nationalizing the industry would be a good thing because the government would be taking over uh, the corporation, but in, in actual fact, we already have the fascist system here now. It's just the other way around. The, the corporations rule the government. So, in, in, if you nationalize in this in this situation, it's sort of like 
giving the oil company back to the oil company because that's basically what it would be. Uh, there would be no benefit to the people. That's all I got for now. Thank you. Good night.